Travel down the main road of any historic New England town and you are bound to see at least one old white church. Not only have they survived more than 300 years of American history, these structures continue to contribute to New England communities in ways that would have astonished their colonial founders. Producer Dave Frazier brings us the story of one such church in Blandford that is celebrating its 200th anniversary. It's a significant structure for the town. It is the biggest structure, you know, in the town, biggest single structure, and it's atop the, the hill on North Road there. So when you're up in the steeple, it does give you a nice view looking down into the uh, lower half of the valley. So you can see all the way to Springfield and, uh, and into Connecticut. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the White Church in Blanford has remained active long into the 20th century. The town was initially referred to as Glasgow Lands due to the European colonists of Scots descent who arrived here in 1735. They sought to erect a church for their congregational form of worship and in 1822 approached Northampton architect Isaac Damon. Isaac Damon was born towards Cape Cod. He was born in Weymouth and moved out here to Western Massachusetts in 1811. He was a, largely a self-taught architect and was most successful in, in his building of a number of churches in the region. And the church fathers decided to approach him and ask him to, to do the construction and to do the design. The meeting house, as it was first known, was the home of the congregational community, though in the ensuing 200 years, it became much more. You have to... Put a little bit of energy into it. And there it is. And now everybody in town will wonder what's going on at the church. <laughs> Chips Norcross is president of the Blanford Historical Society and recently shared some stories of the church and pointed out some of its more interesting characteristics. Initials on the uh, up, up on the walls, uh, way above the bell, you have to shimmy up. It's not an easy, easy process to get way up to the top of the, to, to the, to the uh, steeple. But uh, up there, there, there are a few names that uh, are recognizable even today that, uh, 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 that uh, are kind of fun to look at. Grand Rapids, Michigan, 30th January, 1874. He, he was, must have been visiting here, and the door opened, and he thought we'd like to know about Grand Rapids. Michigan. With no formal heating system, the white church would become too cold during the winter months, so the congregation sought to build a second church in town. Now, in town means, I don't even know if it's a quarter mile away, uh, down the hill, it's, it's just not that far. And at that point, the white church is still used essentially from spring, May-ish, uh, into October, roughly, and then they shift over and go to the other space. In 1940, 1941, as part of the Works Projects Administration uh, work that was done by the Roosevelt administration, there's a team of photographers that goes around to various important places, and this is one of them. And so we have some wonderful photographs that are taken of the church that are in the Library of Congress, and so they document what the church looked like at that point. Eventually, as the white church surpassed 150 years in age, time began to catch up with the structure and a variety of challenges faced the congregation. With the need for massive repairs, the community and the church members came together to begin the process of saving the building. The first of a series of many Scottish festivals would provide much needed revenue to support the restoration work. In 2006, the congregation sold the white church to the Blanford Historical Society for $1. This transition supported concentrated efforts to help preserve Blanford's only building in the National Historic Register. It's the icon of the town of Blanford. It's, it's on the town flag, it's on the town seal, and it's, uh, the town is very, very much uh, attached to it, uh, even if you're not uh, part of the, the original congregation.